Hey guys, First of Melman here with Let's Play Pokemon Black and White. In the last episode, we got here to an Embossed City and got our new g team member of Tyler, which is an Archon. And in this episode, we're going to be heading to the route right of uh, an Embossed City. And actually, right now, you can see the lines the, on the screen. Alright, it's better. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to heal up my Pokemon real quick and I'm going to head out there. Actually, uh, now we're good. We don't need to heal. Yes, yeah, so we're just gonna head into the next route, which is. Which is. What's it gonna be? Route 16. So we're gonna start off here with a police officer. Uh, patrolling is gonna watch our strength. Alright, whatever. One really more thing. So his name is Daniel. He's got a hurrier, her dire. I have to say her dire. And we actually we have a germ out. And this her dire probably has bite or crunch, something like that. So I'm gonna burn it and then I'm gonna get out. Yeah, crunch. Uh, okay, I didn't do too much, but now it has mummy instead of intimidate, which is kinda pointless now, but um Yeah, whatever. So we're gonna switch into something that resists dark. Hopefully we have one. I uh, forget, do we? Oh yes, we have Tyler, who is a rock type. Yeah, and this in last episode we evolved Lee as well, so that's cool. So he's gonna work, use work up to uh, bring up his attack since he was fallen from the uh, burn. So we have Arch in here who knows Pluck, Agility, Ancient Power, and Quick Guard. And I'm going to use Pluck because that's part I think that's gonna do the most damage. Because Ancient Power is a special base move, so, yeah. Oh, now we have Mummy, since it's, like, spreading around. Yeah. Archon, interestingly, interest, yeah, interestingly, interestingly, can't learn Fly, because it's, like, the first bird Pokemon of all time. And, like, it can't fly yet, but when it evolves, it will be able to learn Fly, so I'm going to teach it then. Once I get it, of course. Um, so, yeah. Oh, if you run, the bikers actually go faster, which is kind of weird. Um, so yeah, so here's an, a biker, uh, a tingling ling, to battle the speed. Now, I like to take my battles actually pretty fast, so so these videos don't get too long, but I usually just record longer if they get too long anyway. So we have Germ. So I think we're just going to use Ominous Wind. Ooh, it really is. Shouldn't do too much because Ducklet mainly has a um, physical, uh, special attack and not physical. Plus, we have really high defenses, so. Oh god, Water Pulse. This might actually take me out. Uh, oh, no, it didn't because we're boss. Uh, hopefully, this will. No, it didn't, so we're gonna, I guess we're gonna have to heal Germ up. HP restores and a lemonade. So yes, ducklets. Uh, water flying type, another one. Because I think there's like five water flying types in the game. Or in like five water flying type lines. There's Gyarados, uh, Mantine, Pelipper, Ducklet, and I think one other. So yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of the other one. I can't think of it right now, but I think there is another one. So we're gonna go through the confusion and use Nightshade. Yeah, Nightshade always does the same amount of damage as your level, so yeah, Y part Y parts come out next, so I'm gonna switch into Tyler, because Ghost is not very effective against Dark. Um <laughs> <laughs> that was a weird voice. So I'm going to use Pluck. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Tyler being a Rock type uh, resists normal, which is always good. And but I don't think it resists Dark. No, it doesn't. So yeah. So we take out the Light Part because they have pretty bad defenses, and we are going to win. Winning. Okay. So. I think we're gonna battle this guy up here. Uh, yep, so, talk to him. 
But I actually forgot to list the wild Pokemon in the route. I have to get pull it up real quick. But um, yeah. So he's gonna have a Drover. And so we're gonna send out. Okay. So. All right. I have the um the the wild Pokemon. So I think I'm just gonna use Hex because Amos Window only has five PP, and I, I think I already used three. So I'm gonna save that a little bit. Let's see how much it does. Yeah. See, so it does almost takes it out, even though it's critical. So Nightshade to finish it off. And so yeah, Home Claw is actually raises attack and accuracy, which is not that bad. It's actually pretty good. It's pretty much like Coil, except without raising speed. So Jump's gonna go up to level 26. And so we're gonna switch uh, Germ and Tyler. Because Tyler is at level 25. Yeah, so the wild Pokemon in this route is um they're depending on whether you're playing black and white. If you're playing Pokemon Black, you're gonna you have a 30% chance of Gotha Gotharita, which is a psychic type, and you have a 30% chance if you're playing white, you have a 30% chance of Solosis, which is a psychic type as well. But Gotharita is more defensive than Solosis, and Solosis is more offensive. I, I oh, I've never used Gotharita because I have Pokemon White, but I th I think that it is Solosis is better than Gotharita. So yeah, uh, you can catch that, and then you can catch Mimico, which is a normal type, uh, for 30%, and then Trubbish, which is a poison type, 20%, and Lipard, which and Lipard is 20%. So yeah, Trubbish, I already talked about in the last episode. Mimico is a normal type. It is not that bad, but it's not that great. It just, um, yeah, just, I wouldn't use it. <laughs> Munching Orange used it, just because... It's a chinchilla, but yeah. So uh, I think there's some items up here, so I'm gonna. Oh, yeah. There's also cut trees, which uh, luckily we have our slave to take care of those. So slave is gonna cut down the tree, and we're gonna get the item that's back here. I think it's a, I think it's a TM. No, it's a rare candy, so it's pretty good. Um, so we're gonna head down here. Oh, there's shaking grass right here find some Pokemon and over here I'm not gonna cover this because I don't think there's anything interesting there I think it's more it's a and it's, yeah, it's an event place so yeah we can do something with uh, legendary Pokemon I will be catching I think the three legendary Pokemon and then the one main one so yeah I'm just gonna keep talking through this this is Solosis yeah Solosis uh, and his evolutions uh, have a lot of HP because it's like a cell Pokemon, which I think is pretty cool. Um, over here, strength you need strength, which we don't have yet. Um, let me just check. Okay, we're good. Yeah, you need strength back there to go back there. I think there's some items back there and some double grass. So, yeah. So we fight this guy, who backpacker Peter, who is a Scraggy. Which uh, is actually weak to flying, so that's pretty convenient. So Archon here will get some good experience. I always thought that the pluck animation looked like exactly like the bug bite animation. Now they probably are exactly the same, but I just thought I'd point that out. I'm trying to fix the lines. And just I think it just made it worse. Alright, I guess you just gotta have to deal with it, because I don't know how to fix it. So, that's all of the route, unless you have strength, so, just this one trainer left. Uh, come back here. So yeah, uh, we're gonna battle a cyclist, not biker. I don't know if they actually call this cyclist or biker. Didn't check, let's see. Yeah, it's a cyclist. Um, he's a whirlipede, which is evolved for venipede. Very good. Very good. So we're gonna, yeah, it also weak is, is weak to flying, so our course we use is protect. So, so we're gonna use Puck again. Hit this time and almost take it out. Very close, but um, 
I'm gonna use ancient power actually to see if I can get the stat boosts. Alright, so Tyler is gonna go up to level 26. We didn't get the stat boost, but whatever. Uh, he has another world peed, so I'm gonna keep that one. And pluck. And so close, but it's gonna use poison tail on us. Which might poison us. Actually, no, it didn't. Uh, to use protect, which is gonna stall out the match even more, but whatever. Uh, I'm finally gonna take it out. Fuck. And down goes the cyclist, even though we get poison point. Which is kinda lame, but. What you gonna do? <laughs> Keep saying that. So yeah. And that is it for Route 16, I think it is. 16. Uh, not much, but... Oh, we can go back later and get some more items, but yeah. Once we have strength. So we're gonna go back into uh, Nimbasa City. And we are going to do something about Team Plasma. Well, it's over here, um, but we will get to that in just a second. Let me heal up my Pokemon, get some items. Okay, so out here I uh, bought some repels, sold some items, and healed my Pokemon. So, should I just check something? Okay. So, yeah. I'm just I'm gonna switch up my Pokemon real quick, and I'm going to actually lead with uh, Lee here so you'll see why and so we're gonna head through here which is the main part or not the main part but where the gym is in Boston City and we're gonna find N here so he's gonna tell us he's gonna bring us with him to uh, pass the gym to the ferris wheel so he's gonna go on a romantic ferris wheel ride with me, me. And he's gonna tell some uh, an unskippable cutscene of talking, where he uh, talks about what's he gonna talk about? Uh, he is the king of Team Plasma, which is sort of a plot twist in Pokemon games, which doesn't really make sense, but it does. So he is the pres uh, la, 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 la. he is the king of Team Plasma. He's gonna rule. Uh, he, that's gonna be his new name. So yeah. It's kind of lame, but whatever. We're almost done with this cutscene, so once we get to the bottom, once we get to the bottom, the other Team Plasma guys are going to start talking. And, uh, it doesn't matter if you say yes or no, and and it's going to battle you. And. So, starting off here, he, uh, He's gonna lead off with a Sand Dial level 22, uh, the Intimidate ability, with the move Sand Tomb, Assurance, Mud Slap, and Embargo with no hold item. Now, N himself does not have any items either, so. Yeah, so we're gonna start up with Lee, who's now a Lilligant, and we're gonna use Giga Drain on the Sand Dial. And hopefully take it out in one hit, which we do. Next, he's gonna have a Darumaka, which we are going to. We're gonna go with Tyler for this. Uh, Darumaka's at level 22 with the Hustle ability. It moves Headbutt, Uproar, Facade, and Focus Punch. Yeah, the uh, Hustle ability makes it uh, makes its attacks a little bit more powerful. But I think we're faster, so Ancient Power will uh, have a super effective hit on it. Hopefully, we'll get the stat boost. Take it out in one hit. Cause they're, they're actually pretty low levels. So next is gonna be Scraggy. I was gonna say in it's with the uh, Shed Skin ability, the most faint attack, Headbutt, Swagger, and Brick Break. No hold item. We're gonna use Pluck. So uh, I think uh, my team's actually gonna turn out very well, considering how well we're doing here. So we take it out one hit again, and finally he's gonna end off with a Sigilith. Uh, we're gonna go to Germ for this one. Uh, Sigilith. Actually, we could have stayed, but whatever. Um, Sigliff is at level 22 with Psychic Flying type with the Wonder s with Wonder Skin ability with the most Tailwind, Whirlwind, Psybeam, and Air Cutter. So, um, I think I'm gonna burn it. 
do a side beam, which I think we can take since we have the violet. Yes. So it's gonna be burned, and we can use hex, which will take it out pretty easily. Tailwind actually, um, if you use it, it will raise your team's speed. It's sort of like reflecting light stream except for speed. Um, so we're gonna use hex again and take it out. So that's actually a pretty easy battle. Um, considering it's like a boss. And usually I have a hard time with it, but I don't usually have this many Pokemon at this point. So yeah. So we take out N. And he's gonna go all first person on us and, be, and he's gonna be, I'm gonna defeat the champion and get all the badges and stuff. He's gonna back up and run away. So that was the battle with N in this episode. I have not used my dowsing machine in a while, so there's a hidden item right here, a super repel. And there's an item over here. X attack. I think that's it for this little park area. Um, so that that is it for this episode. In the next episode, we'll be going to the Nimbasa City Gym, who's the leader Elisa, which is a electric type. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next episode when we take down the gym.